This is quite a fun question. You'll see why. A stone is dropped from a height pretty high up and they show you a graph. Which statement describes the approximate position of the stone four seconds after it is dropped? So where is this stone four seconds after it is dropped? Now if you look at this graph, you notice something very strange. Why does it increase and then drop? Hmm, let's draw out the scenario to think about this. So you have a stone, some above water. Okay, so I, have, I can draw some water here. This is water. And you are dropped from here. So this is where you are at 20 meters. From the top to the water. And they ask you 20 seconds later, uh, sorry, 4 seconds later, what happens to it? Well, where is the position? You see, the velocity is increasing up here, right? That means it's speeding up as it goes down. So that's your velocity. Oh. Uh, then something very weird happens right here. This is actually when the stone hits the water. Okay, so you get faster and faster, faster. Suddenly you hit the water down here and suddenly your speed drops a lot. Hmm, okay. So that means this first part of the triangle, this whole thing, the area under the graph represents the distance it has traveled and that is the 20 meters that we have looked at. So this is 20 meters. Okay, but we don't want 20 meters. We want to know four seconds later, where does it go? Okay, so... Four seconds later, what is this area right here? The green color one. When it's in the water, how far does the, the stone actually travel? Because it will go, it will still fall down. Now. But it's gonna fall at a terminal speed, constant speed. If you're wondering why, that's because there's up thrust or drag acting on the sphere. Okay? FYI, the sphere has some weight. And also, if it's terminal speed, it means there's up thrust and also viscous force. Ah. Actually, viscous force will be bigger than up thrust hall. So we have viscous force called drag and also some up thrust force, a little bit depending on how big the stone is or what the size is. But anyway, we are at terminal velocity. And what's the area here? The area of this rectangle, you can approximate roughly, this is what, length of 2, height of 5. So it is about 10 meters. So it means this stone traveled 10 meters like this after four seconds so remember two parts two seconds hit the water another two seconds it travels 10 meters down into the thing okay so with this in mind what is the best choice here it is at a distance of 10 meter above the surface of the water no we know it's gone into the water so this is wrong uh b it is a distance 10 meter below the surface of the water that sounds correct that's that's about right this is a green color one that we found okay so maybe this is the answer, but let's check the rest just to be sure. It is a distance 20 meter below the surface of the water. Now below the surface, this is reference point. If you say below initial position, means from the time when you let go of the stone, if you look at the picture on the top right, if below initial position, then that will be 30 meters in total. So. I think that's what D is trying to get at too. So this is below the surface? No. So I guess the best choice is B. The main thing you need to know is that the stone hit the water and went in. That's all I need to know from this graph. Okay, so that's all for this question. I will see you in the next one.